Hello, Collective, and thank you so much for tuning in. Uh, you are tuned into Esoteric Guidance, and my name is Nuru. I am uh, out today in the Park. It's supposed to be a nice 73 degree day today. Um, it's feeling nice now. I'm actually uh, uh, shorts and uh, flip flops as usual. I am a flip flop climb, climate climb, climate kind of guy. Uh, there's a song that says that has uh, the lyrics of something along the lines of. I want to be where my clothes, where my, oh, going where the weather suits my clothes, Sipping, drifting over the northeast wind, sailing on a summer breeze, <laughs> skipping over the ocean like a storm. Because you know the storm rolls over the ocean. Right? That's how it typically is. So good morning, Soul Tribe Collective. Um, we're busting out of this old joint. Okay, what's this old joint? The Matrix. Official. I mean, we we've been walking out of it, many of us, for quite some time. But we are officially, for those of you who resonate with the timeline of this channel. Also, there is without question, without question, there are those who continue to do witchcraft, spell work, uh, shadow banning, uh, whether it's YouTube employees or others, um, um, and with whatever witchcraft, again, your phones are being watched. You're, they're being listened to. Your IP addresses, they, are, they are, are, are annotated in the downloads and everything that you have been doing. All of the evil carnage, okay? All of the darkness, all of the false pastors, all of the fake ministers, including Stephen E. Parker at the Rock of Central Florida, including Kevin A. Ruth Thomas in Michigan, in Mich oh, in Michigan Florida, in Michigan, who's serving a 40 to 60 year sentence, including Creflo Dollar, including Kenneth Copeland, including Robert Mitchell in Deltona, Florida, including all of these other individuals, the couple that I met when I was dating the Scorpio that she introduced me to at the restaurant, whoever they were, I don't even remember their names, um, whoever, whoever they are, okay? They continue to subdue, there is no way the last five videos on this channel has less than four, has less than 20 views collectively. There is no fucking way. No fucking way. Okay? So, they're literally, truly, and it's not a conspiracy. They are literally, truly, and in plain sight, employees. Okay? Working for these companies and these platforms that are suppressing the truth that earth angels, healers, empaths, light workers, and star seeds are releasing into this place. When these regulations are changed, I want you to know who was behind it. Okay? Ooh, I'm looking at something that says that first. I'm looking at something that says that first. So that first. Okay? So in the midst of, or while we are, okay, um, bringing about this change on this planet that is necessary collective. We must understand that even as we move forward and out of the matrix uh, mindset, that there'll be no enemies. You have to understand that, uh, again, that's why we cannot wrestle against uh, flesh and blood, okay? But it is the principalities, the evil darkness in the fourth dimension. That's where the, that's where spiritual warfare happens, in the fourth dimension, in between your ears, okay? So, if 
you want to be a part of this healing journey, if you want to be a part of the collective that is, that is the bright side of life, okay? If you want to be a part of this team, then join yourself to someone who your intuition is telling you is on the track, on that track. If you have burned those bridges, like some of the people in my life, and I'm going to be sharing a couple of dreams with you that I had last night, or this morning, however, okay? Uh, by the way, Collective, thank you so much for tuning in. My name is Nehru, <laughs> and uh, this is Esoteric Guidance, okay? So, um, yeah. What's interesting is these corporations, they believe again, again, again. When you want to know if someone believes, believes in the creator, believes in the higher power, believes that there is justice, that there is karma, and there is dharma, there is a right, and there is a wrong, and there is a evil, and there is a... Uh, uh, there's a, a, a righteousness, there is a darkness, and there is a light. Okay. For those who still fail to believe that with them, they get the consolation prize. For those of you, again, who have burned bridges, with those who have been sent into your life, and I'm not just talking about those in my life who I've excommunicated, okay? Uh, a couple of which I, again, I had two different dreams about last night and I will be sharing uh, here uh, too. So, let's take a look at your life today. Okay? And really truly do a self-evaluation. At some point, here's a declaration, at some point, millions of people will view this video and others on this platform, okay? You're a high vibrational not wearing their seatbelt. So I got to my destination and I got ready to get out of the car. And her name is Sabrina, by the way. Sabrina might be significant for your journey or you might be uh, you might be connected to someone uh, closely whose first name starts with an S who's part of your good vibe energy and they are helping you so they are doing white magic to help you or you are dealing dark magic and doing witchcraft against you. And I told Sabrina, or I shared with Sabrina, I didn't tell her anything. I shared with Sabrina that, uh, I said Sabrina, Do you know the Creator loves you? When I said God, I didn't want to say Yahweh or anything like that. But I said, Do you know God? And you matter. Okay? You are needed here. I got out I said, so be good to yourself and wear your seatbelt. She's like, yeah, you're right. You know, I just, I don't know what she said. Her excuse didn't matter, you know. Whether or not she does it, mm -hmm. okay. I hope she does because typically 
see little warnings like that people often do not heed and that is the why they that is why that is the why they end up being unalived okay so again sabrina wherever you are energetically in this in this on this earth put on your seatbelt spiritually and physically put on your seatbelt okay spiritually speaking your seatbelt is your authenticity and your intuition physically speaking it's the actual seatbelt okay oh there's a grape on the ground there might be something about wine or something I was thinking yesterday, this morning, this morning, this morning. About uh, some things, about, I was thinking, I guess kind of along the lines of the best that, 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 of whatever, like what's the best vacation I've ever been on so far, and how everything that's coming towards me, towards us collective, is going to exceed that. So, so. Whatever your experience was during, while you were in the matrix, um, fully, or more so, I guess, we're still adhering to the programs of the matrix, and myself as, as well. Whatever we experience beyond today is going to be so much greater than what we have experienced uh, in the past, okay? So, the former will be greater than the latter. Is that the right way to say that? Yeah, the former will be greater than the latter. I think is the way to say that. That's how I think that's how to say it. Okay? So, the two dreams that I had... Uh, the first, and they're very short dreams, you know, um, but they're very telling, okay? So the first dream I had, and by the way, my second toe, I don't know what this means yet, I haven't looked it up, but my second toe uh, on my right foot, hold on, ooh, that's actually tender, Interesting. Um, I was <laughs> I was wondering. Um, I have to look up the significance of the second toe and the chakra that's in that. I haven't looked at foot, foot chakras enough, to know. but you have chakras on your foot too. Okay. So and they correspond with your heart, your throat chakra, your 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 solar plexus, and all of that. So again, I encourage you if you do not know. Again, these 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 things are relevant to your journey and your ascension. And, and if you want to get to the place to where you receive the key to unlock your throne and your seat in the heavens. You will have to go through dark nights of the soul. You will have to go through ego deaths. You will have to go through uh, removing people that you love and you've cared for from your life. Uh, and it, it, it might bother you for a minute. You might be hurt by it for a minute. They might be hurt by it for a long time. But again, it's for your good. What are we here for? We are here to raise the vibration of the universe. Okay, collectively so, right? So the first dream, uh, and again, these were like flashes. Right? So the first dream was, uh, there was a door open. There was someone standing next to me and I'm trying to, so it was like we were at an apartment or at a house or something, but we, we were already inside. So I think it was a house or something, or I mean an apartment or something, but we were already so we were inside, but we were knocking on the door. So we were standing in the hallway, knocking on the door. Confirmation that, excuse me, compliments to the Creator. And um, I've only had water and coffee this morning. And in fact, my coffee is low coffee, okay, leftover coffee. Um, but um, yeah. 
our door opens and this individual standing there and I've known this individual since 1992 okay they have a hyphenated name they, that might be significant for you so someone with a hyphenated name might be First name starts with an well the first part of the hyphen name starts with an H. Their last name starts with a K and their last name is Kim. They are of Asian descent. Okay, what did I mention? It might be significant for your journey. It doesn't matter whether two people hear this message today on 1029 or 500 million people hear this message. Eventually, YouTube, eventually. You will be caught. You will be exposed. Okay? You cannot suppress somebody's information just because you do not like what they're saying on a public platform that you deem to be so. You, whoever you were, are, that created YouTube, whatever, whoever owns it now, whatever conglomerate, okay? You have said that this is a public website. You, okay? So, with that, if you want to make it non-profit or you want to make it something else, then you do that, okay? But you can't say that you have an open-door policy, and then when somebody comes to knock on it, just because you don't like the way they look, you don't open the door. Well, you don't have an open-door policy, now do you? You have a discriminating policy, okay? Okay? And anyone, any employer on YouTube, okay, or any other platform that suppresses or shadow bans the information that is posted on their site, <coughs> confirmation, when they, and they don't want this out, that was a throat shocker, return to sender, return to sender, return to sender times 5,000 with vengeance and a sword. So when you decide without understanding I don't like them because they're telling the truth guess what's going to befall you okay and YouTube there are many companies that are going bankrupt today that is the change part of the change that is taking place if you notice a lot of them are garbage shitty restaurants there's a reason for that okay there's a reason for that, okay? The universe is trying to get us to see that what we have been consuming for the last mm, 80, 90 years, okay, is garbage, okay? With all of these fast food restaurants that sell you shit that they try to convince you is healthy or try to put an extra piece of lettuce on something called a... a, a hamburger patty that doesn't even disintegrate in a year like it looks the same today as it did in 2022 like really and that's what is sitting in the microwave they're literally tested about this so yeah McDonald's you might be the number one serial killer in the world of all time so we are learning as a as a as a collective people, both the dark and the light side, we are learning that we do not have to accept there's something about cancer or a cancer, breast cancer, breast cancer, breast cancer, breast cancer. As a planet, as a people, we are learning that we do not have to consume everything that is being offered to us. Okay, the guy who made the guy who made Oversized, I think that's the name of the movie. I think he passed this year, or was it this year? I don't know. I know he passed. The guy who made Oversized, I know he passed, and I don't know from what, but um. 
perhaps it was something with him consuming all that food and then internally something happening with his body over time even though he i'm sure he did detoxes and things to remove all of that stuff from his body as best he could okay but if you do something for 12 months that's a completion of a cycle so if you do something for 12 months okay good or bad or whatever to your body or to others that's gonna leave a mark okay so if you eat McDonald's for a you only eat McDonald's for a year it's wonderful that you're trying to prove a point but you are jeopardizing your life and perhaps he was okay with that I mean apparently he was because he did the movie right and again it was informal and all that and I've never even seen the movie but um so we are learning that everything that is being offered to us is not to be accepted and is not to be consumed. Okay, again, many of our karmic partners, past partners, parents, siblings, best friends, friends, whatever, have tried to poison us in some sort of way, shape, form, or fashion. Okay, so the door opens, okay, and someone 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 says something to him the other person's standing there or something and i'm just standing there okay and um he looks disappointed or upset or something and then he says no and he just like slams the door and i i think it feels like i am like i don't know offered i don't know extended my hand and in, in, in again in friendship or or reached out to shake his hand or something he was like no and he just shut the door confirmation he just shut the door okay so to him again no hard feelings buddy you know to be honest with you uh i think a lot of our our tension with our friendship came from Barbara or it didn't come from Barbara but it was because of Barbara and their family okay so you've heard me mention Barbara before she was uh, a woman that I considered my other mother I called her my other mother which is mom that's the acronym my other mother and uh, I met her again in 1992 she is the mother uh, to very close friends uh, Amy and Scott uh, and uh, the grandmother of uh, Alyssa. Okay. And I met them again years before Alyssa was birthed. Back in the early 90s. And they embraced me, I embraced them. But um, I think it's always been some tension between that gentleman who was in that dream and uh, and myself okay so I was uh, outside of the biological family obviously her husband uh, well by the way their last name is King that might be significant for your journey or the initials MK okay MK Ultra okay might be significant for your journey and yeah, I just I just think that, that that was a lot of it, okay? She, and in part because he lived in Georgia, so he wasn't physically, once we became adults and I got out of the military, I had to stay So he wasn't physically there for all of those things. Um, and that might have stirred up even more tension, right? Um, but I don't think he's ever really, he's never really liked me, and I think that's a lot of it. Um, uh, again, when people don't like you, when people show you what they don't, don't leave them, motherfuckers. Don't leave them. Don't leave them. <laughs> I said, mother. Don't leave them, motherfuckers. Um, because if you don't, they will trick you. Trust me. Trust me. They can camouflage pretty good. Okay? 
Remember, the enemy got Eve in the garden. Right? Very clean spot. Slick. So, that was the first dream. The second dream is involving someone at the Rocket Temple or I police all of that. There's no more hate or animosity or there was no more animosity or joke stuff like that. But um yeah, so just there was forgiveness that was definitely needed because there was a whole lot of rage. A whole lot of rage. <laughs> a whole lot of rage. And um, again, I think that most I got me out of it. If I had stayed there another year, given whatever was going to be coming by the house, going to be done at the house, whoever was going to be showing up, whatever that was, someone was going to end up on the pavement. And I assure you 100%. I assure you 100%, whoever you are, this was about Matt Hoffman. So I assure you, Matt Hoffman, okay, whatever it is, I will kick your ass and I will, I will bludgeon you, bitch, okay? I will kill you. Do you understand me? Physically, okay? I absolutely have that ability. You, Steve, Jimmy, whoever, I dare any of you, okay? But we're beyond that. Why? Because justice has already arrived. But I know that's why Most High got me out of Central Florida. Because he knew. I gotta save my assassin because the earth needs him. And if I don't, he will assassinate. Okay? And again, that's not a threat. That is not a threat. Okay? That is not a threat. So, in the second dream with Matt Hoffman, Matthew Hoffman, again, pay attention to the names. We were sitting somewhere, I guess, I don't know, he could have been in, at the rock. By the way, um, if you follow to Road you hear anything about the prison or whatever, at the rock, they call the sanctuary part of the building the living room. I don't know what the rock a living room. I've been hearing that for more than a year now. Whatever conversation, whatever witchcraft, whatever, whatever, whatever they're involved in, it could be just simply believing the lie, okay, and, and, and not following their intuition, okay, as leaders. I don't think that's the case. I think they're a part of the of the of the karmic process, okay. And so, Steve's wife, again, Steve's wife, <coughs> Steve's wife's name is Kim. That gentleman who I had the first dream about that I shared, his last name is Kim. K-I-M. Okay? So I whispered, I said something to Matt, and I was sitting directly behind him, and I leaned forward, and I said, Something along the lines of what I just said, right? But it wasn't a threat. Again, there's no need for me to threaten anyone. I speak softly, maybe loudly, some would say, but I speak softly, and I definitely will use the big stick. And what is that big stick? That big stick is my spiritual entourage that will come in and decapitate motherfuckers. That, that's what I use. That's my big stick. That's Horus. That's Metatron. That's Osiris. That's Oshun. Okay? That's who that is. Okay? So, collective. The enemy knows where we are. The enemy knows what we're doing. But the enemy can't do anything that we do not allow the enemy to do. Okay? So, we're going to get ready to head, uh, head back. Again, it's a beautiful day out here in southern Arizona. I hope you are doing well. If there is still time for repentance, comments, I suggest you do it. Oh! 
There is a name that I got several days ago, and I keep forgetting to mention her. I don't know why, but her name is Natasha Bedingfield. Natasha Bedingfield. And I believe, from what I remember, I looked it up several days ago. I kept forgetting to remember it or to mention it. And maybe that was for a reason. It was meant to be mentioned today. Okay? Uh, so, Natasha. Is, and that sounds like such a classic name. It's like. She's, she's young. <laughs> uh, Natasha, well, I think she was born 11, 26. sings a song she, uh, called Angel. I would encourage you to, to listen to that collective. Okay. Angel. That's the one I would write. She has some others too. So, you might be dealing with the Sagittarius. Okay. I am a Sagittarius or sun sign. There might be something, someone's a Sagittarius moon sign. That would be Kevin. He's a Sagittarius moon sign. So, I think that's it. Um, remember to pay attention to the synchronicities of the day. Even in your conversations with others, pay attention to the surroundings, the things, the haunts, the confirmations, and what they're telling you. Okay? So, pay attention. Alright? The creator who gives you breath, CEO, COO, CIO, okay? VP, P, whatever, chairman, whatever. The creator who gives you breath allows your dumb, ignorant ass to breathe, sees all that you do, all that you allow your employees to do. And you will. I just heard confiscated. Confiscated. Come on, universe. Confiscated. Crown is on. It's bumping. Whatever you, it will be confiscated. Will be confiscated and returned to its rightful place. Okay? Thank you so much, as always, for being a part of the journey. My name is Nehru. This is Esoteric Guidance. I have uh, uh, Tiger's Eye and Monk here keeping me company. Ooh, it is. I wasn't even looking at the timer the entire time. It was 33.30 on the timer. 330. Wow. I'm up pacing back and forth and kind of walking around the picnic table as I talk. Picked up the phone, looked at the camera time, 3-3-3. Three, three, three. I was birthed on the 333rd day of the year collective. Perhaps you were, or someone who you know carries that significance of 333. Three, three. Thank you so much as always for being a part of the journey here on Esoteric Guidance. My name is Nehru. As always, be encouraged.